Hello, everybody. Welcome. How's it going? I hope you're doing it all right this evening. Thank you to Damn I Am Pretty for the resub. Now for 42 months. I'm not framey, Jibcat, you're framey. I can see how I look. Anyhow, yes. As chat has noticed, I got a haircut. Um, I no longer feel like a sheepdog. I now feel... <laughs> I, no I now feel streamlined and aerodynamic and air-conditioned. Which is all much better. Much better. Um, yeah, I went and got my hair cut at lunch, and it was great. Uh, also, chat, I tell you, I have been having a lousy week. <laughs> just, just not pleasant. Um, I've told you in the past that I am working on trying to do a desert bus model build, right? And to say that it is not going well so far would be an understatement, uh, but it is not going well so far. Um, I am I am building a model that I built before, which on its own feels a little bit boring. But then I was like, but because I built it before, I can do a better job of it this time than I did last time, and I can I can learn some new techniques to make parts of it look better in the finished version of the model. And my attempts to make it look better have all failed. And not just not just a little bit. They have failed spectacularly so far. <sighs> my uh my my big so the big thing, the big thing, of course, is that I'm trying to teach myself some basic scribing. Nothing fancy. I just want to deepen panel lines so that it takes panel liner better. That was all I wanted to do, just deepen some panel lines. Chat, let me tell you the extent to which that has blown up in my face. Um, I made, I took this little part. This is now my, my practice part. This is a sacrificial piece uh, that I am just butchering in an effort to achieve the, like, in an effort to, like, learn the techniques that I need to learn in order to make it work. Um... But basically, I was trying to scribe two little vents into this thing. And you can see there are now black dots there, or gray dots there. And it's because I screwed up scribing the two vents. And so I was like, okay, well, this is a learning opportunity. Let's figure out how people who are really good at models fill scribing mistakes so that they can rescribe. And the answer that the internet provides is make sprue goo. And sprue goo, if you're not aware, is when you take the sprue, the runner that all your model parts come on, and then you mix it with thin uh, cement or airbrush cleaner, a, a half and half mix of, I think, acetone and butyl acetate is the recommended uh is the recommended uh solvent to dissolve the plastic in and uh then you use that as filler and it dries back in like it hardens back into polystyrene plastic yeah you render down scrap plastic into a liquid that you can you can then put in the groove to fill the groove with and then it hardens back into plastic, and you can sand it smooth, and you can rescribe it. That's the that's the whole idea. Well, that is not what happened. <laughs> I have here. This is now my second file of sprue goo that I have made. You can see it sloshing around in there. Um, but this is now the second file of sprue goo I have made. Um, so I was looking, I was doing all sorts of research on sprue goo and how do you make it and what do you do? And uh, all of the internet is just like, take some sprue, put it in a jar, fill the jar to the so that it's just covering the sprue with thin cement and, uh, and you'll be good. 
That's all you need to do. It'll melt over 24 hours and then you can use it. And I was like, cool. Putting some stuff in a jar and letting it mellow until I can use it. That's something I can do. We like putting things in jar and letting them mellow until they until you can use them. That's how beer is made. Um, so I was like, all right, this doesn't seem too hard. Let's do this. <sighs> so the other thing that the Internet says is, by the way, Tamiya Extra Thin Cement has the same chemical composition as Tamiya Airbrush Cleaner. So instead of buying Tamiya Thin Cement, buy Tamiya Airbrush Cleaner because you get a lot more of it for the same price. Actually, Zafi, it's not a lie. Um, I, I have been poking around. Uh, the To the extent that it is different, this is 50-50 acetone and butyl acetate. This is 49 <laughs> Like, the the actual ingredient list on Tamiya's website is like, these are the same things. But anyhow, I was like, all right, well, I'll, I'll get some of the airbrush cleaner because I'm, I'm going to want... It. Worst case scenario, I can use it as airbrush cleaner and, and it'll give me lots more of it. So that's what I got. So I took a bunch of sprue, I put it in a jar, I covered it with... I filled the rest of the jar up with uh, airbrush cleaner and I left it overnight. Came back the next morning, stirred it up, had a nice glossy, uh, like fairly runny uh, plastic substance the following morning and I applied it to my sacrificial piece and it went on quite thin. And uh, so Zafti, don't jump ahead in this story. We'll get there. Um, so anyhow, it was, you know, nice and runny. It wasn't stringy. It was about the consistency that I was expecting it to be. And uh, and so I put it on the model, and as it dried, it bubbled. Something, something in the reaction caused tiny bubbles to form in the plast in the, like, the plastic as it hardened. And so when I sanded it out, it ended up looking like a shaved wart. It was really quite impressive. Im, Im, unpleasant it was uh i don't know you know when you you have a wart and it's got all the little cores in it the little pits that are just like gross to look at um yeah it looked like that it which is not how you want your model piece to look <laughs> when you're hoping to rescribe it so i stripped all of the pl like i scraped it all out with a a chisel and uh and i removed it and then i i took to the internet was like, okay, what am I doing wrong? I went to several Gundam discords. I went to like a ye old scale modelers, like a military scale modelers forum, a, an actual message board. Um, I went to Reddit and I started asking around about like, what am I doing wrong? And the first piece of feedback I, I got was like, well, you made it too thin. It's pretty translucent. It should be it should be darker, like it should be more, more, I can't think of the word, but it shouldn't be so transparent. You need to put more sprue in. So I was like, okay, I'll try that. So I put a bunch more sprue in. I doubled the amount of sprue in my goo. Um, opaque, that was the word I was thinking of, yes. And uh, so I made it thick. And then it was too thick, like it was too thick to use, so I had to put more of the solvent back into it in order to make it a consistency that I could use, but still much thicker than it had been previously. So I put it on, same issue, still bubbles, still terrible consistency, unpleasant plastic. So that's no good. So then I'm like, all right, well, the next step, Obviously, putting more sprue in the goo isn't the solution. So the next step is to see if, in fact, it is the solvent. Maybe there is some subtle chemical difference between Tamiya Airbrush Cleaner and Tamiya Extra Thin Cement that will make the difference. So threw out all the sprue goo I'd made to that point by pouring it into a paper towel and throwing it out and cleaning out the jar. 
Then I put a bunch of sprue in. And again, this time being even more careful to follow the specific ratio from like a, uh, a video tutorial on YouTube, which is to put in like a bunch of sprue and then you only put in as much cement as you need to just cover the sprue. Uh, so like don't fill the jar to the top, just cover the sprue so that it's all covered and then leave it overnight. So that's what I did. Came back the following morning way too thick to use <laughs> like the the guy in the youtube video made this and he had his like sprue go and he put his sprue in and then he covered it with uh with the extra thin cement and it was like runny like it was dribbling off his brush while he was applying it in the video and i'm like okay sure that's the consistency i should be going for and so i did exactly what he did exactly and i ended up with like a paste <laughs> <laughs> like not even like a soft paste like a really thick sludgy sprue so again i added a bunch more of the extra thin cement in an effort to get it to loosen up to a consistency i could use it at and like still thick and not diluting it to the point that it was translucent but just get it to a runny enough consistency that i could at least do anything with it um and that it didn't like so that it wasn't like peanut butter <laughs> Um, and, uh, and so I did that and I applied it and it has the same problem. It still bubbles when it dries. So that is what is currently on here, which you can't see very well because I'm too far away from the camera, but this also has tiny bubbles in it. And I tried, I tried applying it, like I've been using it on a test spoon in an effort to see what goes on. And it seems like the only time it goes on nice is if I apply it in an extremely thin layer. So like this extremely thin layer is very nice. But anything thicker than that, if it's like a droplet or even just like enough to fill, right? Like enough to actually fill a, a gap. Um, is it bubbles <laughs> and yeah it dries very quickly which it seems like it shouldn't um so anyhow that's that's not that's not working for me so having now ruled out the extra thin cement as my problem uh i have decided that we're gonna try it with different sprue so today i ran out to the hobby shop and i bought myself some basic ass boring polystyrene sprue like this is just eight strips of polystyrene plastic which i am confident should not have weird like additives or whatever in it so i'm gonna take one of these and i'm gonna clip it down and i'm gonna put that in a jar and then i'm gonna fill it with tammy extra thin cement and we're gonna see what happens <laughs> But it was not supposed to be this hard, chat. Every YouTube video is like, just put some sprue in a jar of Tamiya Extra Thin and you'll get this nice paste that you can use to fill or to seal seams. Um, and, and that is not true. Also, Zafti suggested sonicating the jar by putting it in the, uh, the, so the ultrasonic. So this jar, which I have not tested since, it's just been sitting here, but this jar did spend 20 minutes in the ultrasonic cleaner uh, just trying to agitate it. <laughs> so we'll see what happens to this if I apply some later this evening, but, uh, but this has been through the, the ultrasonic uh, in an effort to get it to do its thing. So we'll see. But anyhow, I am very annoyed. I am very annoyed at the internet. Oh, and then one guy on Reddit was like, well, okay, so you've made some sprue goo. How long after making the sprue goo are you using it? And I was like, 24 to 48 hours. He's like, no, you need to wait like two to four weeks before you use it. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> Why would I need to wait? Like, what? And, <laughs> and, and, I, and I like, what? 
not a single tutorial anywhere on the internet says that you need to wait two to four weeks. They all say like between four and 12 hours. <laughs> and then his response to that, which granted I cannot argue with is, well, like given your success rate, how reliable would you say those tutorials are? <laughs> And I'm like, well, okay, you have a point. That's rude. <laughs> Way to just kick someone while they're down. Like, Jesus. <laughs> so anyhow, it may be that I have to wait two to four weeks. That seems wrong, but who knows? Like, maybe it does need to just sit and mellow for a while. But uh, anyhow, it's not going well. And then, of course, there's the problem of me just not being good at scribing yet. And I'm really, like, I'm really working on trying to figure out... This is the thing that's annoying me. This is really why the fun is gone right now. And it's because I can't scribe without screwing up because I'm an un I'm unskilled at it, right? I haven't learned the techniques, so I I am I am learning something new here, and it's hard. Like scribing is a very very difficult technique to make look good, and it by all accounts. I, I'm in the I'm now in the like the former Studio G Discord and their tutorial on scribing is like there is no shortcut here. The only solution is to put in hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of practice. And I have I have to date in my uh in my Gundam journey been fast like I've been speed running learning how to build Gundam, right? Like making things, like trying to learn new techniques very quickly and apply them very quickly. And so finally hitting a wall where it's like, there is no solution here. All you can do is try and screw up and try and screw up until you learn. And so in, in an effort to alleviate, not like all of this, like with the understanding that I have to, do it over and over and over again and screw up and try again and screw up and try again. What I need is a system by which I can repair damaged parts. That is the, like, that is the only solution. I need an eraser for my work, right? Like, I need the ability to repair damaged parts so that I can screw up, fix it, try again. Fix it, try again. And maybe, like, I have two copies of this kit now specifically so that I have a sacrificial version of the kit to practice on. And Sprugu was supposed to be the eraser. That was supposed to be the, like, the thing I could use to repair so that I could try again. And now I'm having trouble getting, like, I am just having trouble building the eraser. <laughs> Which is standing between me and the thing I'm actually trying to learn. And that is incredibly frustrating. That is like an absolute joy kill where like the thing I want to learn is off in the distance and I can't get to it because the the thing I need to to repair my mistakes doesn't work. <laughs> May I suggest? First no, Jim, so hold on. Jim Cat says, I don't know if goo would erase and let you reset cuts, though. No, that is literally the purpose of sprue goo. The reason you use sprue goo as opposed to some other putty or filler is because you are filling your gaps with the same material that you used initially. That is the the purpose of adding the, the sprue color. goo. Um, it is the same plastic that you removed once it has dried. Uh, the... 
the the whole reason I'm not using like a lacquer putty is because a lacquer putty dries into a substance that has a similar texture to like chip rock. And so it it like crumbles. So when you try to scribe through it, it ends up like coming out crumbly and you can't once you've scribed it, you can't fix the line. Like one of the things you can do with with uh, with polystyrene is you can scribe a line and then you can run a bead of ultra thin cement through the panel line and it just melts down the edges of the panel line so that cool. so that it it evens it out and makes it so that when you run the panel liner through it, it actually looks like a nice even straight line. Um Putty doesn't do that because it's crumbly. It doesn't respond to the thin cement and it doesn't soften that way. And so you you will end up with like a gross crumbly line. Um, so anyhow, the whole purpose of this, the literally the entire point of this endeavor is because sprue goo is supposed to be the solution and I can't even make sprue goo. <laughs> so I hate my life and want to just give up. <clears throat> May I interject with an observation? You may. So my my current observation is that instead of trying to do one new technique, you're actually trying to do two new techniques. Oh, I'm trying to do multiple new techniques. Because you're trying to learn how to scribe and you're trying to learn how to fix up your fuck-ups, yes. your mistakes. Um, I saw you look at the language button. Um, Watch your profanity. So... Not to suggest you go buy more Gundams, but what if you buy go get cheap, get people's like old Gundams they built and they don't want anymore. That's whatever, a great idea, actually. And just trash them. Like, just trash them. That is it actually a really good idea. Um, so uh, go buy more Gundams. Like, go... And just, like, just ask people. Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. Uh... Please. Master grade. Does anybody it doesn't have even a... matter if it's master grade? Well, I I want it to be a master grade because I want it to have the same level of detail as the the kits that I'm building. But, but um, like, but yeah, like just start some on person's something. random already built Aegis Gundam. Sure, I can buy myself a robot anus and uh, and try and scribing then carve that. Carve your anus, yeah. Um, yeah, like that is a really good idea. Thank you. Um. You could also just go talk to people at the Gundam stores and see if they have Gundam trash. Language. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. There we go. Oh, that's at a high grade, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Like, if you're just learning how to scribe, like, just... Like, you don't start building with Lego as a two-year-old. You eat the pieces for a bit, and then you get Build Duplo. Duplos, yeah. And then, yeah. Anyhow, that is that is still like the next step away, because I still need to get my sprue goo working before I even get there. Maybe, maybe pick one thing, and then once because that will help you feel more successful in learning a thing. Yes. And then you can fight with Sprugu later. Anyways. Just buy more Gundams. You heard it here first, kids. You heard it here first, No kids. one clip that. <clears throat> that is a good suggestion. Anyhow, I am going to trim one of these into a file of Sprugu anyhow, just in an effort to, like see if I can problem solve this because now my life is committed. The answer does not exist on the internet as far as I can tell. So it is now my life's work to try and figure out how to troubleshoot sprue goo. And then I need to make a bunch of, of like TikToks and, uh, and videos about sprue goo to fill in all of the information that all of the tutorials have left out.
I did see the suggestion that it might be an evaporation problem, but I don't know how I would solve that. A UV resin might be viable. It depends on how hard it uh, how hard it hardens. <clears throat> like brittle is okay, and in fact, a common suggestion is to use like clear sprue because it's it's it it's more brittle and it hardens better. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I really am going for like the same texture. <laughs> I really want the, I really want to fill the plastic in with plastic. Anyhow, that was my, that was my aside for the evening. That was my rant. Um, it's been eating me all day, so... Now I'm talking about it. Oh, I've got another message on. Uh... Oh, here we go. Okay, so. Apparently, so the guy, the guy who said you need to wait a while. Says, I have gotten similar results to what you're seeing when I've tried to use a batch too soon. So maybe I should just leave it a couple of days and see what happens. Quick, unthrow them out. Well, no, the the one that's thrown out, that's dead. But I can, I don't have to use this tomorrow. I can let it, like, I can let this sit and wait a few days. It doesn't have to be used right away. Especially, especially if I'm going to do as you said and buy somebody's cast off Master Grade kits. Um, in fact, I will put a call out on one of the local Gunpla Discord oh. servers and see what they have to, see if anybody's got any cast offs that they don't want anymore. Can I interrupt your stream to show you Maple's trick? Yes, one moment. Uh, we have... Maple apparently has a new trick, so I'm is going to show it to you. Uh, if I can remember what the button to do that is. Here you go. Probably. You are not visible on camera at all. Chat cannot see that. You'll need to be back I here. That's very good. Can you can you come back and show just yes. let, show the class, please? Oh, lie down. Good. That's very good. Meg is working very hard Hello. on teaching Maple to leave it. <clears throat> yes, I so I definitely I would have preferred to have used the plastic from the kit. Which is what I've been doing, right? Like I, I used sprue from the kit. This, this using this is less ideal than just using the plastic from the kit. But if the plastic from the kit isn't working, my options are a little bit limited. Does Maple care about anything other than food? The answer to that is categorically not. Uh, Maple is the most food motivated dog I have ever seen. <laughs> All right, I owe you a joke, so I should uh, I should find you a joke. I don't think there's a good way to deliver the, to make to pronounce that joke. Um, there's a joke here that I really like, but I don't think I can pronounce it. 
So we're going to skip it. I took the shell off my racing snail, hoping to make it go faster. <laughs> but it actually made it more sluggish. Also, I hope you appreciated the joke roundup. That was quite fun to put together, and I did quite a lot of editing on it. <laughs> it was, it was not a, uh, it was not a, like, tr I mean, it wasn't significantly, like, huge or difficult, but it wasn't a trivial edit. I'm opening the timeline so I can show you. Um... Here we go. That that's the timeline of my joke video. Not trivial. Uh you'll what's the third bar? The one that says voice? Uh so I for most of the clips I actually trimmed I cut the the rim shot out of the audio track because doing it live the uh the timing isn't very good and so I trimmed the the rim shot out of the audio track and then used the rim shot sound effect that I have on my soundboard and re-edited that back in <laughs> so that it uh so that it was timed better and there was less dead air And then I also did a bunch of these, like, L edits. I think they're L edits. Um, but, oh, no. How did that happen? There's a, oh, no. Tell me I caught that. Um, oh, this is actually not even, oh, I didn't save the final cut. That's what happened. Um, because I added my, my, uh, my Twitch channel name to it. Um. But I also did all these edits so that the, like, the rim shot overhangs the transition a little bit just to keep things flowing. I don't know. This is all Babby's first video edit, but I'm proud of myself. I also cut some dead air out of the middle of jokes in places. Anyhow, that was... Oh, God, no, why? One day I will remember to change my scene before closing the program that I'm that I have open. Uh, let's d let's just double check and make sure I didn't dox myself again. I did not. <laughs> Thankfully, I did not. Okay. Somebody tell me to clean up my desktop. Listen, uh, I frequently have like more than one, like two or three folders on my desktop just titled sort me. <laughs> sort me one, sort me two with just stuff that I piled into them that I just don't have the brain space to sort at that point in time. Uh, and then occasionally I'll be like, I have too many sort me folders. And so I'll just take a sort me folder and I'll drag it into a parent sort me folder so that there's only one sort me folder. But then that sort me folder has nested sort me folders within it. Um. <laughs> and then like once a year, I go through this folder and sort everything out of it and uh, and actually like clean up my nonsense but uh but most of the time i just don't care 
the worst part is you saw all those icons, but you didn't see all the icons on my second monitor, which also has a ton of stuff on it. It has roughly the same number of icons on my second monitor as on the monitor you saw. <laughs> all right. So with all that said and done, we did watch a Star Trek last night, and I do have some questions to answer, uh, so I'm going to get through those. The questions from last night's Star Trek are, if you were to be a defector, where would you be a defector from? I believe you will find I am already a defector. I defected from Loading Ready Run, and now I spill all of their secrets un un unbound by my loyalty to Loading Ready Run. Um this episode premiered January 1st, 1990, literally the first track of the 1990s. Where were you when you first saw it? Do you think I was likely seven years old and I was likely lying on my parents' bed in their bedroom and we were probably all watching it together on my parents' bedroom TV? Uh, how often do I think of the sacrifice Jarok made to keep us safe? I believe you mean will make. Star Trek takes place in the future. Um, what is the correct temperature for water in Onkian? Uh, well, Romulus is clearly a very warm planet. It clearly has a, like a fiery biosphere. So I assume that their, their temperature range is high, like it ha includes more degrees than ours and starts higher. Uh, I would assume that Onkian is probably not dissimilar to Fahrenheit. So we're going to we're going to say that the correct temperature for water in Onkian is somewhere around 45 degrees. And uh what would your trap in the neutral zone be and how would it trick the Enterprise? I believe you will find it would not trick the Enterprise. The Enterprise is untrickable. And those were all the questions we were asked. My parents had a TV in the bedroom in the 1990. I I think we did. It wasn't huge, but it wasn't small. This big? Like, I don't know, 14, 18 inch? Not enormous? But big enough. I inherited that TV. I got to have that TV in my bedroom by about 1993. Maybe 1995, but uh, that TV, that TV lived on a long time. I believe it was a Panasonic. No, it was a Toshiba. It was a, oh man, I wonder if I can find the exact model of TV it was. Oh, I wonder. Was it? Oh, now I'm second guessing myself. Uh, because I don't see. I did a, a Google search of Toshiba TVs from 19, like from circa 1990, and I don't see any that look like this TV. Oh, now we're getting closer. It had little, it had a power button and a reset button right down at the bottom, and they were like little paddles on the side of it. Uh, I, oh man. And I'm pretty sure it was a Toshiba. Let's take the year out and just go vintage. Hmm. I know you can't see any of this. Um, maybe I can share my my screen. 
my window capture here. Okay. So it was not dissimilar to this, but it had a very different look down at the bottom. Maple, why are you attacking my foot again? Please stop. Here, what's this? Leave it. Maple, leave it. Yes, good, good girl. Good girl. It wasn't. Okay, maybe I do need to look for a different brand. Are you for a TV now? No, I'm trying to find the specific TV that my parents had in their bedroom in the 90s that we would watch Star Trek on. And I'm pretty sure it was a Toshiba. It had a black or charcoal gray, uh, like, box. So it was a TV in the 90s. Well, yeah, but it wasn't, like, silver. It, it was... Knobs? Uh, no, it had buttons, and then it had these, on either side of the monitor, it had these little flaps. And one was a power button, and one was a something else, and I don't remember what they were. But I'd, like... Literally, the instant I see the TV, I will recognize it. But I don't see it here. Let's try... 90s flappy boy CRT. I know. Let's, let's check other manufacturers. It had a very similar design sensibility to this. It was definitely not a Sony. Again, very similar to this, but not this. Here, let's go. CRT... TV. Probably late 80s, actually. Because if you're searching specifically for the 90s, they have remembered things being in the 90s that were actually in the 80s. <laughs> Rude. Um, no, that's not. Yeah, let's try. Oh, here we go. Now we're talking. This Who is the was correct? This is the ballpark. We're much this is much closer. Um still not quite right, but much closer. But it's the late 80s. Yes. Nineteen eighties Toshiba TVs. Let's see what we got. Did it have like a built in VHS? No, it did not have a built in VHS. It was just a TV. Oh, but black is not gonna help because that's gonna look for black and white TVs. It really looked a lot like that, though. Do a reverse image search of things like that. Maybe put in, like, side panel. Side. Oh, that was our TV growing up. Oh, that one? Yeah. With the, the knobs on it? Yeah. Maple, please leave my shoe alone. Maple, leave it. <gasps> Maple, leave it. There it is! Drop That's it. it! This is the one! Drop it. With the little flappy buttons. 
You can see them down in the corner. Oh, man. Uh, okay, let's see if we can get a better photo of this. We cannot. This, these are like the only two photos of this television on the internet. Um, that's wild. This is the TV. This is exactly it. Neat. It was 80 pounds? <laughs> That's more than my dog. Holy crap. Or was that the price? No, After 36 kilos. Jesus Murphy. Neat. Well, I wish I could make that photo bigger, but... Uh... But still, yeah, that's the one. Right that's it, it right there. Try right click and open a new tab. That didn't work. Uh, maple. Maple, leave it. <gasps> yeah, no, nope, that's as big as it gets. Uh, anyhow, it was. Uh, Yeah, that's about the right size. 22.8 inches wide by 20.5 inches tall. Yeah, there we go. Control and scroll wheel to zoom. That oh, okay, well, zoom yeah. The whole page. Yeah, it does just zoom the whole page. But as you can see, it's got the little flap for the power button. That's uh that's hey, the when dead you giveaway. Said flap and gestured like this. I thought like you meant this. like they're little they were little a flappy big buttons. Flap. Yeah. Um Anyhow, thrilling. That's the one. Exciting. Yeah. So eventually I inherited that TV and my parents got a bigger TV. Barricat says, to be honest, I'm quite surprised that there isn't a website dedicated to having every model of TV created since the 1980s. That's basically what that website was. It was the Radio Zeum. I had the same thought with China Pattern the other day. But... CRT database. Wow. Toshiba. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, what was the model number? Two five eight T seven D. I guess that means it was a twenty five inch. Uh, the two five eight isn't on this list, so this is I'm not a list of all Toshiba. The button. No dice. Rip. Yes, that database sucks. Incomplete. It's probably not even a database. It's probably an Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we should move on to our video game. We have uh, we have Final Fantasy VII to play. So, so here's wait, that's the wrong way. Here is my phone. Here is my phone cable. Everyone, please brace your ear holes. <clears throat> and Garcon, can I have a drum roll, please?
delicious and nutritious. Fat tug. <laughs> Don't leave home without it. <clears throat> All right, let's play our video game. Do I think Worf ever had to deal with sprue glue? I feel like he had about as good a time with his sprue goo as I am. Okay. What is going on? There we go. <laughs> Worf did not do ships in bottles. Worf was never a boy. Okay, we are going to here. Three ways the way Acolyte Sith Lord changes lightsaber cannon. Okay, I have multiple issues with that. It's not even clear that he is a Sith. Let alone a Lord. Take the doohickey. Only one cactuar rock awaits. The treasure of the sands is almost yours. Hang in there. Was the lightsaber whip cannon? The lightsaber whip is canon now. But it should have stayed in a friggin' comic book. Because <laughs> it's dumb as all get out. Yes, for no apparent reason, what's her butt with the lightsaber whip kills an Umbra moth just so that the lightsaber whip gets to appear on screen. And it's incredibly stupid in live action. You're starting to think Star Wars was meant for kids? No. Couldn't be. I found 
the location at a previous time. I'm pretty sure I've located this one in the past, like 25 or 30 streams ago. I just, it was 25 or 30 streams ago, so I don't remember. I don't know, I've definitely been over here, Zafti. There it is. Too slow, Yuffie. Let's see where we're going here. It's everybody. Oh, so it's like that. <laughs> Everyone's a winner. I hope you'll forgive the interruption. But I've made my study of the Book of Kings. One particular passage references the treasure of the sands. Apparently, it's from another world, and its rightful owner is known as the Bladesman of Legend. Huh? Bladesman of what now? Legend, which is why Kiji has asked you to undertake this trial. To see if you're worthy of said title. Uh, okay. I'm detecting increased cactuar activity. It would seem they're preparing to receive you. They will hold nothing back. But I have the utmost confidence that you will prevail. As you always do. Hooray! <laughs> Darn right I will. All right. Let's go.
Can I just try fast? No, I cannot fast travel here. Goodness! <clears throat> Running it over was enough to start the fight. to the reactor. Let's go meet our horrifying Welcome goblin folks friend. To the final trial. You've done well to survive the spiny onslaught that was unleashed upon you. Quote the Book of Kings. Delivered to this land from a realm unknown. The treasure of the sand shall be bequeathed to the bladesmen of legend. Oh, does this mean I get to go as as uh Cloud this time? Keep the treasure safe until the appointed hour. Could you be the bladesman of legend that the scriptures foretold all those years ago? You bet. I got this. Oh no, I have, I have to fight his Aerith again? Didn't I already do one as Aerith? These are our most formidable guardians. If you can breach their nigh and penetrable defenses, you will have proven yourself the treasure's heir. And with that, let the final trial begin! <sighs> Alright, now I have to try and remember how I did this as they were at the last time. Okay. That was how it worked. So much time. Okay, please cease hitting me. Abilities. Uh. 
All I want on this earth is for my abilities to actually connect. Sorceress Storm! Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's start over. All right, let's get our ATV up. No valid target? What does that mean? Sorceress Storm. You. Oh, come on! Gigantoir. Hey, you asked for it. Okay, go on. Oh god, I don't like the sound of that. Well, my chance is not now. I keep my distance if I were you. Go on. Aerith, could you, like, actually hit him, please? That's it. Someone looks kinda shaky. How on earth did that hit? That sucks. Ready? This one's for you! One more shot. Okay, this is terrible. And I give up. Great, I can't just hand over the treasure of the sands after a performance like that. So, you gonna give it another go? No, I am not going to attempt that. Um, we are going to take a moment. And we are going to change some materia. So we are going to take ATB stagger and remove it, apparently, because I'm not very smart. We are going to take ATB Stagger. We are going to take the other ATB. There's a first strike. Yes, we're going to take first strike. We're going to take that. That doesn't help. 
that doesn't help. I should take this, though, because this could help. Let the trial begin. Let's try this again. Did I not give? I could have sworn I gave her the enemy skill, but apparently I did not. Uh, luminous, no. Luminous hard. work. Hey, you asked for it. Yeah. I keep my distance if I were you. Maybe this will do the trick. Uh, we're gonna go for. Wait, really? I don't even have my Aegises? I'm backing off a bit. I have a set skill list. Oh. Well, that sucks. Lend me your strength. I'll take that. Ready? Go on. Please. How can you be immune to everything? Oh, because the cast reflect. One more shot. Well, no wonder I'm sitting here wasting time. Anything that can get through Man Award. I don't think I do. Man Award is just the FU button. Walk up and hit them. Make you stronger. There we go. <laughs> Come get me, bros. Faster than you are currently dying. I keep my distance if 
assistance if I were you. You okay? Man, I try to get out of the way of that attack. This one's for you. Gotta go for it now. Get him. I know it's an AOE. Sorry about that. Uh, Aerith, do you wanna actually attack him for damage, maybe? Shaky. Here, just beat his ass. Just absolutely this body this guy. You. Over and over again. Let's do some damage here. One more shot. Here he comes. Oh god, oh god, oh god. No! Here he comes. Oh, off of it. Huh. I keep my distance if I were you. Huh. Here he comes. Huh. Get him. I'm oh, backing off a bit. Huh. This one's for you. Did I get them all? I did. Okay, great. Oh no, there's no extra time buddies here. Hey, you asked for it. What the, what the hell? Okay. I would like a guide. Uh, Cactuar Crush for Guide. Am I am I missing something with Cactuar Crush 4 on Reddit? I'm trying to get to rank 3 for dar the Dark Matter, but from what I can tell, Aerith literally cannot do enough damage to reach rank 2, let alone 3. Everything other than the weakest Cactuars just take way too long to kill, and I don't know how I'm supposed to fix that. Okay, first, get Aerith's gear in order. Hermes boots, first strike materia, strength up, magic up, speed up. The real trick with Aerith is that she uses maneuvers she never uses anywhere else. Once you understand that and how they work, you're 80% of the way there. The other 20% is just speed. Primarily, you already know about the light and dark ward, but what you may not realize entirely is that Aerith doesn't just use magic attacks unless in or is that Aerith doesn't use magic attacks unless inside one of the wards when she's outside of it she'll do a somewhat slow area of effect melee attack it makes short work of crowds of gladiators in seconds the other trick is important because about halfway through you'll start running into light and dark magic twars that will quickly cast mana wall. When that happens, they're immune to magic, so that sucks. However, if you hit them with a melee attack, the immunity goes away. The issue is that they run away a lot and are much faster than Aerith. We deal with that by doing Tempest outside of the magic circle. Holding square outside of the magic circle will actually teleport her next to the enemy she's targeting. Do that, whack them. Oh, hey, we've got a, a raid happening. Pat Bear, thank you for the raid. Welcome. What were you up to this evening? Yes, it is the stamp song. In an effort to not be using co the copyrighted song I was using previously for the time being. Uh, I cut the stamp song out. Building some Lego sets. Cool. All right. So teleport next to the enemy she's targeting, whack them, then warp back and or cast a new ward and finish them. 
The next hurdle you'll face with this is the giant cactuars. The only really good option is seen to cast transference super early so that when you're spamming Sorceress Storm and Spirit Drain, it'll build up. If you get it to level 2, it'll take out near 80% or more of the Gigantuar's health. Interesting. Okay, we're going to wait for this to start, then we're going to cancel out, and I'm going to change some gear. Kind of. Uh, we are going to give up. Yes. That enough for today? Aaron. So we're going to take this. We're going to give you Hermes Boots, apparently. Provided I have Hermes Boots to give you. Hermes Shoes. Grants haste at the start of battle. All right. That does seem really good. Uh, then we want to set Materia. So enemy skill is no good here because I can't use Plasma Discharge. So we're going to swap that back. And then we're going to take this and we're going to turn it into a speed up. Do I have more than one speed up materia? No, I only have one speed up materia. But yes, we're going to take that from Yuffie. ATV Stagger, First Strike. That may not actually be good. MP. You don't need that. Hey, the real Mr. Frogman, thank you very much for the resub. Ne or for this sub. Okay, we are looking for something like a magic up. That'll do. And then maybe there's a bangle we can use that's better. Okay, let's uh, let's try this again. Now that we know some of the secrets. Okay, now show me what you got. to the other explosion. Get back here. Mind 
need to hit him physically. No, I hit the wrong one. Here it comes. You're not gonna like this. Actually, terrible. Okay, we gotta we gotta try again. Hi, Maple. Are you doing a murder in my office for some reason? damage. Alright! We've learned something! Come get some. Get him. This one's for you. I'm backing off a bit. Okay. What the? What the hell? Go on. Here it comes. I'd keep my distance if I were you. You move. Okay, what do we got for enemies now? Hey, buddies. Let's go. There we go. Had to get out of my ward for that. Abilities. Transcendence 2 on the gold gigantoir. Abilities. Sorceress Storm. 
Let's go. Here it comes. Abilities, Soul Drain. And he's dead. Great. Abilities. Sorcerer's Storm. There we go. One more shot. I'm backing off a bit. Oops, that was the wrong word. This make you stronger. Hey, you asked for it. Whoops. This one's for you. You'll see. Teleport, damn it. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I've already got my score. Completely convinced. Just as the Book of Kings foretold, the Bladesman of Legend has come at last. At last! Actually, there's one more favor I wanted to ask. Hold it right there! <sighs> Nobody do anything stupid. Do you honestly think that gun is going to cause any kind, Only any kind of problem for me? That treasure is this one right here. Don Cornego. <laughs> you heard him. Give me my sparkling spoils. <laughs> What in the hell? It's a cutscene gun. All right, fair enough. The audacity to declare yourselves claimants. Treasures of the Genji belong to me alone. You will render unto me my pride. Just reach down and grab Corneo and crush it. This? Stand back. Protecting this treasure is our sworn duty. That seems like it should have been enough HP's worth of damage to kill just about anything. Goblin Punch! Oh. Hmm. Who's next? Not me! That, that was just a technical knockout. We've got our sights set on a new frontier. We'll rebuild stronger than ever, and once we do... <laughs> Once we do, we're gonna crush you and your little cat's eye too. Your days are numbered. I'll get you, my pretties. Anyway, back to that favor I was about to ask. Would you mind sparring with me? I want to go around with the legend himself. See how I stack up. Why not? Do I have time to redo my equip? Goblin beatdown. It's on you. No 
Oh, yeah, Cloud is uh, Cloud. Let's do this. Ow! Jesus. All right. Dealing with his post parry attack or his goblin beatdown will pressure him. If you fail to stagger him after a certain amount of time, he will unleash his powerful whammo attack. You're lucky I'm here to clean up your mess. Uh, that's incredibly rude. You know, I'm dodging a lot and not dodging. Uh-oh. Okay, let's fix our equip. Your assess. Poison and petrify. You can be first strike. HP absorb and enemy skill. That's fine. Magnify and time. That's fine. Fire and ice and elemental. That's fine. Auto unique. Okay, so Cloud is fine for equip. Yuffie, what did I take off you? I took something off you and put it on speed up. That's what I took off you. Whoops. Uh, you should have a halfway decent uh, strength and magic power by 10%. That's the one. Uh, you. Elemental, lightning and wind. That's fine. Cleansing, it's good. Poison and petrify, MP up. That's all fine. Uh, magic up, auto unique, synergy support. So you're missing auto weapon. Okay, let's take that as our starting point from which to work. All right, ready to put up your dukes, legend? Yes. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> Why does Cloud have no HP? Double time. Get lost. No, 
thank you, Aerith. Coming through with the heal. Whoops. Gotcha. This ends here. Oh, I sure did forget to uh, assess here. I got your number. Ow. It's on you. You won't regret this. How about you? I'll show you what I can do. Whoa, goodbye, Aerith. Nice knowing you. Can we not insta kill me? I'd appreciate that. Deal with that. My turn. Yuffie, what happened to your ATV bar? Oh, she used it to res Aerith. That's really nice of her. Uh. There we go. Not even hard. Of course, no trial could be a match for the Bladesmen of Legend. That's right. First try. The treasure of the sands is yours. And as its keepers, our work here is done. Guess we'll have to come up with a new fairy tale for ourselves. Yeah. Good luck with that. Hope we meet again someday. I'd be down for a rematch too. Sure. You know, I could be the Bladesman <laughs> of Legend also if I got to bring my two friends with me. Oh no. The Cactuars have presented you with a special challenge befitting the Bladesmen of Legend. Stop their spiny onslaught and prove yourself unimpeachably worthy of your new title. You think Graham could throw a mean punch but would feel bad about it? Honestly, I think Graham would throw less of a mean punch than you think he might. Let me guess. The Sand Giant. That was you? John, were you my Genji's call? And whither did it lead you but those sweltering sands? Am I right? Let us share a drink beneath the stars. No, I did not ask. Comments. I did not ignore comments on my haircut. I, to I told you last stream I was getting a haircut before this stream, and then I commented on my haircut during the waffle today. Excuse me? Huh. You've absconded with not every Genji piece I own. Is there I, a name for I object to Orlantia saying I commented on it and was ignored. No, six. I had my just already talked about it. My gloves and greaves. However, one item eludes your avaricious grasp. Be 
Behold, name my Denji shield. That another proto relic? You fool! Tis the Aegis of Genji! <laughs> Once the full set is again in my possession, my memory shall at last return, and I will know not only whence I came, but whither I must go! And thus, in the name of Genji, I issue one final challenge! I have to beat your ass, right? That's that's what's going on here? Face me! The true bladesman of legend, Gilgamesh! Is this how Cloud gets his stupid sword from, uh, from Advent yeah, Children? Oh, don't. That would be great, by the way. I actually kind of hope that's where part three goes, that the like the ultimate version of Cloud Sword is the version of Cloud Sword that he has in Advent Children. And it comes with an attack where it splits into 12 swords and he hits with each of them. That would be awesome. That would actually be legitimately awesome. <laughs> they should do that. Square, call me. So it's sort of Omni Slash, but it's not the same Omni Slash. It's a different Omni Slash. Truly excellent work, Cloud. I've detected the sudden emergence of an unknown landmass. Improbable though it may seem, a new island has appeared out of thin air. Okay. And there await that swordsman and those otherworldly armaments. Who knows what they should collect once you land? They should include more oh, stuff from Advent Children. Wiggins, listen, they should include, include the cool things from Advent Cloud. Children. The end of our quest for the proto relics draws near, but I hope you will continue to assist me in exploring our world. Complete the Cactuar hard mode trial. How hard is the Cactuar hard mode trial? I wonder. The best way to make tracks is on Choco Back. All passengers with reservations. Okay, for some reason, I have a side quest available on the side quest board. The ultimate party animal! Fellow disciples of diversions and delights, to you I issue a challenge. I. Once a man of middling achievements, now lauded as a champion of champions, have set new high scores in the most beloved of the Gold Saucer's many attractions. Come, players, and pit your skills against mine, and strive to claim my title of Ultimate Party Animal. I didn't know this was a thing. But I guess we're going to go try. Let's go find out what this means. Welcome one and all to the gold saucer. Oh, hey, there's a new dance party at the entrance. He's just a middle What a coincidence meeting you here. Oh, Shinra middle manager. To max and relax. You're that Shinra paper pusher. You know it. So, you're into dancing? There's nothing more freeing! After years of slaving away for the company, this white-collar worker has finally learned how to let loose and have fun! I can tell! <laughs> After I put in for a leave of absence, I bid farewell to Costa del Sol and made my way to this golden paradise of delights! <laughs> I've been trying out all the attractions to help clear my mind, and before I knew it, I'd somehow racked up more high scores than I could count. Can you believe it? 
Now everyone's calling me the ultimate party animal. <laughs> That's certainly not a title I ever imagined earning. Speaking of, there's a campaign called the Ultimate Party Animal Challenge that's scheduled to start quite soon. Okay. The goal is to try and beat the high scores yours truly set on all the attractions. But I already did all the attractions. The here now <laughs> is to advertise the event. Uh, you're more than welcome to get in on the fun. I've got ah! high hopes for you, so don't let me down. <laughs> okay, uh, I do have to do all the attractions again. I might stand a chance in that. What a pain. <laughs> There's no way I could ever beat his high scores. I think I'm gonna go for it. Let's just go through all the quests. This is basically hard mode on all the attractions. Oh no. Hey buddy. <laughs> Been waiting for you. And now the ultimate Chocobo Racing Showdown. I was not anticipating this quest existing. Compete. <laughs> this quest made you say, screw completing all the quests. I'm finishing the game. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, is it crazy to chocobo gain? Yikes. What was that? Why does he have a lightning strike special move? to deal with that. That's such a dick move.
Oh, come on. And he's going to be me again. The moment I try to pass him. I don't think I can catch him. No, he's already over the finish line. Okay, we gotta retry. Yeah, those doors suck. Scary. this the only thing keeping me from having a heart attack right now is that I've got a commanding lead
Thanks, Leron. You're really helping by pointing out that I just lost a ton of my lead. Much appreciated. Fudge! Jeez. God, I hate those doors. <laughs> I hate them so much. Raiders, hello, welcome. How was Minecraft this evening? Congratulations on clearing the first challenge. You've taken your first step toward becoming a true party animal. Keep making the most of your time here at the Gold Saucer until you too reach my lofty heights. All right. I just served Shinra middle manager his own bird. Mecha Chocobo races. Welcome, sir. Pardon me. We eagerly await your return. What pray tell is a Mecha Chocobo race? I can ride the Mecha Chocobo. Okay. Okay. Thank goodness that it didn't say there were new races. Okay. How bad is it gonna be, buddy? I knew you'd answer the call. Without further ado, let's see if you can top the high scores set by the living legend, me, the ultimate party animal. I am experiencing fear. <laughs> 50,000. Oh. Well, my personal best is 54,000. I should just get credit for this. Literally, I have already beaten his high score. I should get credit for having done this already. I should not have to do it again. Exactly. He literally didn't get the high score. Taking a shocking number of hits already. Gotta focus, 
Those hit me. Those shouldn't have hit me. Aren't I worried the shots going off into nothing are going to hit some rando? No, not particularly. We're gonna assume it works like Gundam and that beam weapons have a, uh, a fall off range where the energy just dissipates. Stop hitting me. I've taken so much damage already. <laughs> Like Gundam when you hit a or kid's parents with a stray bullet. To be fair, that was a stray shell casing. The bullet didn't kill anybody with its intended target. Oh, did you beat Elden Ring? Congratulations, nicely done. I've heard that final boss fight is a nightmare. Well, I'm still in one piece. No, oh, no! <laughs> Hello, Maple. Maple's here. A bottle of wine? No, I am not drinking a bottle of wine. Why am I not drinking a bottle of wine, cool? I mean, I could be. We have a bottle of wine in the house. Well, Zappy, I don't remember you telling me to wait. So I blame you for not telling me loudly enough that I heard you.
Drunk Adam Star Fox stream win. Amazing. I dismissed you? Saying I'm not gonna not do them now? That doesn't sound like something I would do. This attempt is going better. Oh, well, it was until that happened. like irrationally angry that just having the high score doesn't count as having the high score. Thank you. Whoops, I wasted a torpedo there. Got avoid the asteroid. Okay, this time for sure. Now we fight the snacks. One down. this thing to die. Can you show me your tail, please? There we go. To be fair, Zande, I did say my anger was irrational.
think I screwed it up again. Oh, no, Harry! I did it! There we go. Party animal down. Congrats on clearing the second challenge. You've now earned the title of typical party animal. Typical party it's animal. That sounds like me. Continue to rise through the ranks, so don't lose that party spirit. So long, Shinra middle manager. Wait. Oh, okay. There we go. Of the universe is in your hands, Rangers. Are there any new things? Here to exchange points. Nothing new yet. Make us proud, Space Ranger. When you get an order, you're still on the way. Your trusty guy will look at your service. Okay, where are we headed to next? Oh, God. Hold on, dear. I'm going to be both. Have yourself a nice day. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. There he is! But does he have what it takes to overcome the series of battles designed by the ultimate party animal? Why do they have you designing games? A series of three-person bouts in which you pick your team. Participate in a rollicking combat spectacle designed by an overzealous Shinra middle manager who stayed up all night organizing it. Well, let's see how it goes. Two gonna be. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Just in case. Double time. Can you take over for Here me? Go. Uh, 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 uh. I 
That is an incredible number of Tonberries. Jesus. Oh no! Oh, Yuffie down. That's not great. Oh my god. <sighs> All right, I'm going to take a momentary break. I will be right back. All right, we're going to look to the internet and see if the internet has any suggestions for how to do this. Uh, UBA challenge guide. Oh, okay. That's, uh, that's some, some good tips from the internet. You're getting there, but you haven't truly embraced your party speed. Okay. I don't, I don't care at the moment. Get out of my way so I can equip things. Now the question, do I have the thing I need to equip? I have two. <laughs> Do I have enough enfeeblement rings? Can I make a third safety bit? I might actually be able to make a third. I can! Hooray! All right, let's try it again. Underestimate the hidden talents of a middle manager. Now, unfortunately, I have to fight the cactuars again. Be so kind as to not point your thousand feet. Let's go. No, thank you. I'm good. Oh, that was a lot of neat. Too many needles. Take the lead. You've got this. You're in good hands now. Don't let me down. My Wow, he took a beating there. So that's the way. Brutal. <laughs> Just 
bad timing there. Fire your thousand needles at Aerith. That's fine. Aerith is a completely suitable target for that. Oh, come on, Cloud. What on earth? We need heals. And we need heals that don't involve UP healing and then immediately getting bodied by 5,000 needles. Okay, missing with a limit break is the worst thing they've done in this game. Just terrible. Our battle so easily the first time and now it's causing me such problems Oh, Aerith is back up. All right, great. Take him down. Don't worry. No I can handle this. Okay, let's get Aerith. Do you have race? You've got this. Hang back. Uh oh. I'll finish it. 
Apparently the first time around I just killed them both before 10,000 needles had a chance to go off. Any friggin' needles. Stand up. Now we're back here. Let's be smart. I do not want to be scared, thank you. Um, 
abilities. Doppelganger. Let's go. I should really focus on, like, burning down any one enemy here. see what happened there, but I promise you I did win. Okay, how bad is this? Alright, this I have to assess. Okay, it is weak to snow, which is good because I have frost on my weapon. Now, if I can just get near it. I'm coming. Doppelganger out. Let's just be over here. We'll just be Yuki for a while and stay out of the way and hit him a bunch. Send off here before his timer runs out. Yes! There we go. Oh God! There's another round. Uh, 
win. I refuse to be soul sucked. ATV spent on other abilities or other commands de increases damage dealt. Joker down, right? Uh oh, I don't like that one bit. Get him. Cloud is in an extraordinary amount of danger right now. I'm gonna need you to <laughs> get some ATP, please. Oh, thank 
Thank you. All right, there we go. Synergy abilities we can use. I'm coming. Go balls. Oh no. Oh no. ability. Gotta go for it now. I know I have it in me. Awesome. Cut. It's your turn. Take it over. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's another round of combat. What the hell is this thing? I got to know. I'm good. I'm great, actually. Wait, what happened to my doppelganger? 
forth and kick butt! You see? So we got thunderous banishment. It's on you. Here we go. Get him. Why don't you leave the hearing? Go Let's go. there won't be any further challenges, right? Congrats on clearing the third challenge. I hereby proclaim you a renowned party animal. Hey, a renowned party animal. All right. And take notice. But you still have a long way to go. Don't you dare slow down now. The party must go full speed ahead. Surely the worst challenge is going to be the bike, right? Actually, no, it's going to be Rock'em Sock'em Robots, for sure. Did you see yesterday? I bought some protein. Oh my gosh, you guys seriously cleaned up. Oh, the nice one. That's the best match I've seen in a minute. Your trusty guy, Moomoo, is at your service. Onward to Wonderman Square. Hooray. I do appreciate that he's still here dancing. He's just having such a good time. Is anyone here bold enough to try and beat my unprecedented high score? Challengers, step forward. All right, G bike. I do indeed have the high score by 100 points. The fact that I only have it cleared by 100 points though suggests this is gonna be a lot of trouble. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
I turned too hard. Try this again. I'm not entirely certain how I took so much damage there, but such is life. I was doing great, and then I ran out of healing.
Great spinning slash. Responsiveness of the, like the control of the bike just does not feel right. It just refuses to do what you want it to do. Enviable party animal, but not the moment. ultimate party animal. But you can't get complacent. You must rise ever higher until you can party in the heavens. Party in the heavens. I'll gladly treat anyone to a friendly game of Queen's Blood. I doubt you'll stand a chance against my ultimate deck. Let's do it.
Let's play that. So far, so good. Do I have any halfway decent solutions there? Okay, sure, you can have that square. What if I do the Oh, you son of a... Fifteen and eleven is twenty six to my twenty eight. I am not at all confident that that's going to be enough points to win. <laughs> oh, yeah, no dice. should also probably have checked to see what Shinra Middle Manager does. Like, what does that card do? If this card is in play when the round ends, the loser of each lane's score is added to the victors. really have a deck built to fight this but we'll try again and then I'll net deck something to beat him with yeah just win the lanes obviously Son of a... I 
hate that card so much. And I've lost. Okay. So this is what? Uh, Shinra Middle Manager, Queen's Blood. All right. Does our friend Excalibur have a video to tell us how to do this? Now I want to know. It's Excalibur. There we go. We want to Shinra Middle Manager. Alas, Excalibur does not have a guide. Oh, this is not the same person. It is not Excalibur after all. Oh no, it is. Okay. All right, well, let's keep looking. How to win Queen's Blood Shinra Middle Manager. Okay. Oh, hold up. We're going to just copy this deck. This is what we're here for. Edit deck. Okay, two of those, two of those, one of those, two of those, one of those, a Tifa, a Chocobo and Moogle, and a Freet, a Bahamut. Where's Bahamut? There's Bahamut. A Bahamut. An Insectoid Chimera. Sorry, two of these. One, two. And one of these. That's 15 cards. Let's go. All right. How does this person play it? There's not actually any dialogue in this guide. And there's no description. So this doesn't help me a great deal, but we're gonna just play this deck and see if maybe I can, uh, maybe I can grind it out. What? <laughs> okay, you should know when I'm looking at a guide on YouTube, I'm clearly not looking at chat because I have my my browser window full screened. So if you post something in chat and then I don't see it, <laughs> yelling at me in chat is not going to help. Okay, I'm going to give this a try and then if it doesn't work, I'll use the deck that was posted in chat. How does that sound? Okay. Boop.
poop. hard for top lane control there. So far, so good. Oh, I see what I should have done. Do I have what what do I have? There we go. You're right that eating Tifa was bad because I forgot what Tifa's ability was, but I still won. Congratulations on clearing the fifth challenge. Be proud. You're the first contestant to have made it this far. You alone are a magnificent party animal. Well done. But not quite However, the ultimate. It's still too early to name you the ultimate. And why? Because I hold that title, and there can only be one. All will be settled in a final match. You and me in an epic 3D battle for the honor and the glory and the party. Fine by me. You're on. Very well. Then I shall be waiting for you. Fellow party animal. I can't believe the UPA actually lost. Okay, is there got your deck in order? An open so, Queen's Blood challenge? It's time to throw down. No, every everybody's done. Yuki, what are you doing over here? Wanna get in on the action cloud? Challenge Yuffie in 3D Brawler. It does not, as far as I can tell, there is not a Queen's Blood challenge available to me anywhere in the world.
What about at the tables? Well, there's nobody with a an icon. Oh! Permit me to prove my powers. Let the battle begin anew. A secret opponent. Red's putting on his voice because he wants to be cool. Uh, let's play this. And let's see how bad this goes. I do not, in fact, got this. <laughs> Whatever the opposite of gotting dis is, that's what I have. toast I didn't have a short waffle I had a 55 minute waffle no I knew what haunted hotel did I just hoped I could pull it out I was waiting I was hoping for one of my uh, my replacement cards to drop and it didn't show Let's try it one more time and then we'll do this again on, on Sunday. was not what I needed. Sure, pump your dudes. That's fine by me. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Good, good. I mean, I've got it now, so I should just take it. Take the win. How exhilarating. I may have lost, but that was a good match. Was it? Because it seemed a little bit like I dumpstered you, Red. <laughs> much everybody for tuning in thank you to everybody who subscribes everybody who follows everybody who cheers everybody who chats and everybody who hangs out and lurks it's a genuine thrilled stream for you and i hope you as much fun watching as i do playing i will be back sunday same mat time same mat channel here on twitch.tv slash wins playing more final fantasy 7 rebirth we are rapidly closing in on the end of the game i think so maybe in the next week we get this game done all righty uh so, as always, you can follow me on Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram at Wiggins underscore TV. And uh, if you're a subscriber, you can join the Discord by making sure your Twitch account and Discord account are linked on Discord's back end. Where my server will appear to you is if by magic among your linked servers. So, join the Discord. <laughs> All right, let's see who's online that I can throw to this evening. hop aboard this raid train i will see you back here on sunday until then so long have a good night and goodbye